care cause I'm going down the road to a brand new place and I'll get there with a smile on my face yeah so lift me up I'm moving on singing and dancing while I play my song yeah I'm having a good time keeping it going come on clap your hands and won't you sing along and I'll stay it up high, high, high give our dreams their wings to fly gotta keep the fire and keep the fire burning keep the hope alive you gotta keep it turning Regular or chicken salt? Both. Winter. It's the perfect excuse to sit around. Have that second glass of wine. And let someone else do the cooking. Do something different. Book your South Australian trip today. South Australia. Rewards wonder. Seven News is number one in the most important resource of all, our people. Live now to Mark Mooney. Jane, it is the jewel. First to breaking news, Andrea Nicholas. First on the scene. Award-winning reporters, decades of experience, respected, Incredible. Striving every night to deliver Adelaide's most trusted, reliable news service. Adelaide Sport. And Adelaide's live weather reports. It's everything to us. Seven News is Adelaide's news. You've loved watching him grow. And learn. Now, you need to watch from a distance. Travelling the world alone, but still part of a team. Discovering exciting new places and making new memories together, even when you're apart. The hard work and the unforgettable moments. You never want to let them go. But you're so glad you did. Regular or chicken salt? Both.
Ah, winter. It's the perfect excuse to sit around. Have that second glass of wine. And let someone else do the cooking. Do something different. Book your South Australian trip today. South Australia. Rewards wonder. Seven News is number one in the most important resource of all. Our people. Live now to Mark Mooney. Jane, it is the jewel. In First two breaking news. Andrea Nicholas. First on the scene. Award winning reporters. Decades of experience. Respected. Incredible. Striving every night to deliver Adelaide's most trusted, reliable news service. Adelaide Sport. And Adelaide's live weather reports. It's everything to us. Seven News is Adelaide's news. You've loved watching him grow. And learn. Now, you need to watch from a distance. Travelling the world alone, but still part of a team. Discovering exciting new places and making new memories together, even when you're apart. The hard work and the unforgettable moments. You never want to let them go. But you're so glad you did. Regular or chicken salt? Both. Winter. It's the perfect excuse to sit around. Have that second glass of wine. And let someone else do the cooking. Do something different. Book your South Australian trip today. South Australia. Rewards wonder. Seven News is number one in the most important resource of all. Our people. Live now to Mark Mooney. Jane, it is the jewel. First two breaking news. Andrea Nicholas. First on the scene. Award winning reporters. Decades of experience. Respected. Incredible. Striving every night to deliver Adelaide's most trusted, reliable news service. Adelaide Sport. And Adelaide's live weather reports. It's everything to us. Seven News is Adelaide's news. You've loved watching him grow. And learn. Now, you need to watch from a distance. Travelling the world alone, but still part of a team. Discovering exciting new places 
and making new memories together, even when you're apart. The hard work. Hancock Prospecting Australian Swimming Championships. The referees for this session are for the men's events, Faye Lewis, New South Wales. For the women's events, Alan Smith, Queensland. The starters for this session are for the men's events, Aaron Collis, Queensland. For the women's events, Denise McLaughlin, Tasmania. The technical manager for the event is Karen McLeod. Technical officials, please take your seats. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome to the pool deck the athletes in the women's 19 to 20 200 meter backstroke final. In lane three, representing Perth City, Anna Cooper. In lane four, representing Rackley Swim, Kiralee Siebenhausen. In lane five, representing Southport Olympic, Tanya Stovgaard. And in lane six, representing Nutterwadding, Tegan Coxhill. These are the athletes in the women's 19 to 20, 200 meter backstroke final. And the women off and underway in the 1920-200 metre backstroke final. It's great to see some familiar names back in the pool again. Multiple swim for most, most of these swimmers now. As long as they're recovering right in between swims, Klimi. The best, tr best practice is race practice. So I think these guys are benefiting greatly from do doing multiple races morning and night. So this new format is really... Uh, Proving to be a success so far. We've seen Kiralee Siebenhausen in the water a few times already this meet. Uh, first in the 50 metre backstroke in her age group last night as well. So we know she's got some speed. And taking the lead nice and early. Half a body length so far. It's looking nice and high in the water. 200 backstroke, also a very tough event. Tough on the legs. 
She popped up pretty quick, didn't work down the water as much, probably conserving some energy for the later part of the race. It always amazes me how the backstrokers stay so straight in their lane. Yeah. <laughs> you sort of get taught to fix, fix on a point in the, on the roof, on the ceiling, and try and follow that with your eyes. Not like when we were younger and it used to be like a little pinball up the lane. <laughs> It's much harder swimming outdoors, and obviously that's one of the disadvantages of, of the major competitions being outdoors with, with the elements. Now, all major competitions have to be inside. Obviously, the Gold Coast Commonwealth Games, that was the exception. Yep. Still some fast swimming by our back strokers there as well. Absolutely. Very talented bunch. 15 metres to swim. Kira Lee Sibbenhausen out in front from Rackley Swim. And at the touch, Kiralee Sibbenhausen, 215-10. Congratulations to all our swimmers in the women's 19 to 20 200 meter backstroke final. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome to the pool deck the athletes in the women's 17 to 18 200 meter backstroke final. In lane one, representing Sunshine Coast grammar, Kiana Ayres. In lane two, representing Knox Pimble, Georgia Peregrina. In lane three, representing Northcott, Ashley Wheel. In lane four, representing St. Peter's Weston, Michaela Ryan. In lane five, representing Bayside, Victoria, Jordan Fox. In lane six, representing Gin and Deera, Abby Webb. In lane seven, representing Surrey Park, Mia Holler. And in lane eight, representing MLC Aquatic, Samantha Schlicht. These are the athletes in the women's 17 to 18, 200 meter backstroke final. Athletes off and underway in the 17 to 18 age group. The women's 200 meter backstroke final. Michaela, Michaela Ryan there in the middle of the pool from the powerhouse of St. Peter's Western. Great squad here of swimmers. That squad always has been good. You know what I mean? It's been such a strong Absolutely. squad for so long. Obviously, Michael Boll being there yep. in the days of Steph Rice and, uh, you know, Grant Irvine when they were there as well. And now, uh, Dean Boxall's taken over. Taken over, absolutely. And it's a new, new crop of swimmers and um, the results are just as good or even better. So it's, uh, it's an amazing club, amazing environment. Michaela Ryan attended her first national event camp. Again, sort of bridging that gap between age and open. Yep. It's a nice another development strategy. Great to see Abby Webb in the water again from Ginandera. Good to have a swimmer from the ACT in the pool. Recently off the Youth Olympics as well. 
Just to remind everybody, there is selection up for grabs, not only for the unis university games, but also for the Youth World Championships. So um, these guys not only would want to post a great time now to be qualified for the Youth, uh, youth World Championships, but also for the university games. So, um, and a national title at stake as well. Budapest, that'd be all right, wouldn't it? It'd be pretty good, absolutely. And Naples, I think, for the uh, for the university games in Italy. So can't really lose. No, exactly. But it is Michaela Ryan in the middle of the pool. 25 metres still to swim. Great rotation through the shoulders. She makes her way down. It's going to be Michaela Ryan, 213.99 of St. Peter's Weston. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the medal ceremony for the women's 19 to 20 200 metre backstroke. The presenter of the medals is Jamie Salter, General Manager, Performance Pathway. In third place, and the winner of the bronze medal in a time of 217.10, representing Nutter Wadding, Tegan Coxhill. In second place, and the winner of the silver medal in a time of 2.16.16, representing Southport Olympic, Tanya Stovgaard. In first place, Australian champion and winner of the gold medal in a time of 2.15.10, representing Rackley Swim, Kiralee Sibbenhausen. Congratulations, swimmers, and thank you to our presenter, Jamie Salter. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome to the pool deck the athletes in the men's 20 to 21 200 metre freestyle final. In lane one, representing St Hilda's WA, Jackson Govers. In lane two, representing Breakers WA, Ben Roberts. In lane three, representing Rackley Swim, Lewis Townsend. In lane four, representing St. Peter's Weston, Max Carlton. In lane five, representing Nutter Wadding, Bowen Goff. In lane six, representing SOPAC, Jamie Parker. In lane seven, representing Trinity Grammar, Joshua Seamatz. And in lane eight, representing Bond Queensland, Samuel Young. These are the athletes in the men's 20 to 21 200 metre freestyle final.
it for just a second. Off and racing the men's 20 to 21 200 meter freestyle final. Keep an eye out for Max Carlton in lane four. A lot of these, a lot of these men had a hit out in the relay last night, and um, especially for Lewis Townsend, who chose to swim the uh, the age division in this event. So um, expect him to be out pretty quick. And he is 25:06. It's a really good split. Expect him to be close to a 149 flat, if not better. Bowen Goff, renowned for his butterfly, was in the 100 fly final. Swimming very strongly here, though, as well. They make that first 100 look really easy, don't they? Absolutely. It's that easy, efficient speed, 50, 52 6 1. Puts them on pace for a 148 time. It's all about trying to build this last turn in a 200 freestyle. Get a, you basically try and get a good rhythm on the second lap, try and accelerate into that last turn, come off the wall, and then bring in the legs gradually into that last 15 metres. At the last turn, Max Carlton 120.85. You have to swim sub 28 second last 50 to get into those 48s. Lewis Townsend's fading away. Great swim by Max Carlton. That second, second hundred, he's timed it to perfection, looking really strong. Wow, down at the touch, 149.02. Max Carlton, St. Peter's Weston. Another win for Max and his coach, Dean Boxall. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the medal ceremony for the women's 17 to 18, 200 metre backstroke. The presenter of the medals is Jamie Salter, General Manager, Performance Pathway. In third place, and the winner of the bronze medal in a time of 2.15.82, representing Northcott, Ashley Wheel. In second place, and the winner of the silver medal in a time of 2.15.63, representing Bayside Victoria, Jordan Fox. In first place, Australian champion and winner of the gold medal in a time of 2.13.99, representing St. Peter's Weston, Michaela Ryan. Congratulations, swimmers, and thank you to our presenter, Jamie Salter. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome to the pool deck the athletes in the men's 18 to 19 200 metre freestyle final. In lane one, representing UWA West Coast, Adam Sudlow. In lane two, representing Nutterwadding, Matthew Temple. In lane three, representing Toowoomba Grammar, Dylan Stevens. In lane four, representing Chandler, Mitchell Tinsley. In lane five, representing Brisbane Grammar, Alexander Grant. In lane six, representing Ravenswood, Miles Bailey. In lane seven, representing Acacia Bayside, Brandon Labarro. 
in lane eight, representing Uni of Queensland, Erwin Lepichox. These are the athletes in the men's 18 to 19, 200 meter freestyle final. Off and racing now the 18 to 19 200 meter freestyle final. Matthew Temple off to a great start there in up in lane two from Natawadding. Traditionally a butterflyer, but also a great freestyler as we can see. This is a very great, very fast field for the uh, for the boys, the 18, 19, 200 freestyle. You've just saying too that Matthew Temple is a butterfly as well. It's great to see there's so much versatility. Uh, with these age group swimmers as well. And I think we're sort of starting to see a bit more of a resurgence in that 400 meter individual medley event as well. Yeah, absolutely. I think obviously in the sprint events, it's, uh, I think, you know, you can, you can double up from butterfly to freestyle. I think sometimes in the longer 200 freestyle events, a little bit more tricky, but we've seen Boeing Goth and, and now uh, Matthew Temple doing both the freestyle and the butterfly event. So these guys are uh, just adds another feather in the bow when it comes to racing at these big national meets. Matthew Temple at the turn, 53-6-0. Mitchell Tinsley from a great squad in Chandler, training with Vince, Vince Riley with Jack McLaughlin. So I um, expect him to come home pretty strong. Yeah, Mitchell came home real well this morning in his heat swim. Not much separating these boys. Half a second between first and fifth. Matthew Temple looking really strong up there in lane two. I think Mitchell might have just taken the lead with about 14 metres to go. Mitchell into the wall. 149.74. Mitchell Tinsley of Chandler. Matthew Temple, second 151.3. And Dylan Stevens, 150.51. Congratulations to all our swimmers in the men's age group 200 meter freestyle finals. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the medal ceremony for the men's 20 to 21 200 meter freestyle final. In third place and the winner, my apologies, the presenter of the medals is Melissa Morgan, Australian Dolphin and Olympian. In third place and the winner of the bronze medal in a time of 152.03, representing Nutter Wadding, Bowen Goff. In second place and the winner of the silver medal in a time of 151.41, representing Rackley Swim, Lewis Townsend. In first place, Australian champion and winner of the gold medal in a time of 149.02, representing St. Peter's Weston, Max Carlton. Congratulations, swimmers, and thank you to our presenter, Melissa Morgan.
Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome to the pool deck the athletes in the men's 20 to 21 400 meter individual medley final. In lane three, representing Surrey Park, Tyson Caddy. In lane four, representing St. Peter's Weston, Michael Ng. In lane five, representing Rackley Swim, Elliot Mitchell. These are the athletes in the men's 20 to 21, 400 meter individual medley final. The men are underway in the 400 meter individual medley final. Two laps of each stroke. Great thing about this event, all these men will get a medal. So they're all fighting out for the... I like <laughs> for, your thinking, the, Clemmie. Yeah, everyone wins. <laughs> We've spoken about St. Peter's Western a few times already tonight. They've just taken lead in the club point score. 792 ahead of Nutterwadding, 756. Of course, last night, Nutterwadding were leading the charge there. It's still very tight. It's only about 40 points between the, guy, uh, between the clubs. So um, it's great to see uh, Tyson Caddy from Surrey Park, coached by Ian Pope, my old coach. So oh, Popey. Popey, you have to give him a plug. Great man. <laughs> Surprised he's not running up and down the pool. Were you an athlete who responded to that? You know, some athletes obviously respond to that kind of a thing and yeah, others I, like I, the more. I love Popey's energy and he's a really, you know, like he had great rapport with all his swimmers. And he's such a positive person and I think he's got always had great relationships with his athletes. So. Um, I, I certainly got on really well with Popey and, and used to enjoy watching him really energetically hit the stopwatch. And, uh, <laughs> but, um, yeah, I'm sure these guys are benefiting so much from, you know, Popey's coach Matt Welsh and Brett Hawke, many other swimmers, and had so much experience, been on so many Olympic teams and national teams. So um, great to that he's now head coach of Surrey Park. At the turn, Elliot Mitchell flips over to 10.75, moving into the breaststroke leg. Had a cracking backstroke leg there. World record held by the great Michael Phelps here. 4.03.84. Scintillating That's time. That's, <laughs> most people would struggle to swim that freestyle, even the freestylers. So it's a very high benchmark. Michael Ng having an amazing breaststroke leg here. Like we keep saying, that breaststroke leg can sort of make or break the medley. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. From Obviously, when you go from the breaststroke to the freestyle, that distance normally doubles. So you want to be, he's going in with a five meter lead, that will become 10 meters. So uh, it's really hard to catch. Never thought about it like that before. Yep. Wow. There you have it. Michael Ng with a 10 meter lead.
Jeez, Clemmy, you're not just a pretty face, are you? <laughs> not sponsored. <laughs> not sponsored. <laughs> <laughs> All right, at the final turn. Michael Ng, 358.70. Another St. Peter's Western swimmer coming into touch. Dino's up and about. Gavin a fifth bump. He's pretty happy. 429.55. Michael Ng of St. Peter's Western. Looks like a seven second improvement from his uh, morning swim, so that's that's a great result. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the medal ceremony for the men's 18 to 19 200 metre freestyle. The presenter of the medals is Lee Nugent, Swimming Australia State Technical Director, WA and South Australia. In third place, and the winner of the bronze medal in a time of 155.1, representing Toowoomba Grammar, Dylan Stevens. In second place, and the winner of the silver medal in a time of 151.3, representing Natawadding, Matthew Temple. In first place, Australian champion and winner of the gold medal in a time of 149.74, representing Chandler, Mitchell Tinsley. Congratulations, swimmers, and thank you to our presenter, Lee Nugent. Olympic champions and world record holders of the 4 by 100 meter freestyle, Kate Campbell and Bronte Campbell will be signing autographs tomorrow night at 7 p.m. at the SA Aquatic and Leisure Centre store, so don't miss your chance to meet them. both.
gentlemen, please welcome to the pool deck the athletes in the men's 18 to 19 400 meter individual medley final. In lane one, representing Southport Olympic, Kyle Young. In lane two, representing St Hilda's WA, Isaac Pollard. In lane three, representing West's Illawarra, Nathan DeLutis. In lane four, representing MLC Aquatic, Ryland Bryan. In lane five, representing Reavesby Workers, Joshua Wilkie. In lane six, representing Knox Pimble, Thomas Peregrina. And in lane seven, representing Rocky City, Matthew Richardson. These are the athletes in the men's 18 to 19, 400 meter individual medley final. Eight laps of the pool in this men's 18 to 19, 400 meter individual medley final. Four seconds ahead of the fields from this morning, Ryland Bryan out there in lane number four. <laughs> Trains with Alexander Graham, so he'll be, uh, it's had some great experience from his training partners. We've had some great swimmers in the 400 IM over the years. Matt Dunn, Trent Steed, Justin Norris from my era. Oh, Justin Norris now, his daughter Sabre. Yeah, she's, she's a great gonna, surfer. She's gonna and be a making, skateboarder. She's been making more waves than he has. <laughs> Absolutely. On the Ellen DeGeneres show, Absolutely. I believe. And um, Thomas Fraser Holmes holds the national record at 4.10.14. Posted 4.19 last week. I'm sure we'll be watching tonight's events very closely to see what the boys do in the later events as well. Right now, though, it's Ryland Bryan in lane four, hugging that lane rope as he makes his way down for the turn. The World University Games qualifier is 4.23.36. Expect these men to get pretty close to that. Not under. Never got a chance to race at the University Games, but I hear it's a really great competition. Naples this year, so. Summers bound for those positions. It's great to see some team members in the stand supporting the, the swimmers what it's all about. Absolutely. Man and miles these guys do together. They see each other more than family really so. Team bonding at its best clinic. Ryland Bryan looking very strong. He's increased his lead in this breaststroke leg.
going to take this lead now and double it. We go off your calculations, Clemmy. You'd have to, uh, yeah, you'd have to come back in a 58 trying to qualify for the World Uni Games. had a great second half to this event. Great tussle for the minor places. Coming Thomas Peregrina. Coming down to the finish. Ryland Bryan, 427-53. Thomas Peregrina, 433.89. Joshua Wilkie, 434.18 to round out third position. This is the medal ceremony for the men's 20 to 21, 400 metre individual medley. The presenter of the medals is Lee Nugent, Swimming Australia, State Technical Director for WA and South Australia. In third place, I'm the winner of the bronze medal in a time of 4.45.63, representing Surrey Park, Tyson Caddy. In second place, and the winner of the silver medal in a time of 4.37.20, representing Rackley Swim, Elliot Mitchell. In first place, Australian champion and winner of the gold medal in a time of 4.29.55, representing St. Peter's Western, Michael Ng. Congratulations, swimmers, and thank you to our presenter, Lee Nugent.
Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome to the pool deck the athletes in the women's 19 to 20 200 meter breaststroke final. In lane one, representing Pelican Waters, Madison Thompson. In lane two, representing MLC Aquatic, Isabella Smorgan. In lane three, representing Trinity Grammar, Francesca Fitzhenry. In lane four, representing Nutter Wadding, Michaela Smith. In lane five, representing Newmarket Races, Sophia Chihidi. In lane six, representing Rackley Swim, Taylor Lumley. And in lane seven, representing UWA West Coast, Ashley Glover. These are the athletes in the women's 19 to 20, 200 metre breaststroke final. And we're off and racing in this women's 19 to 20 200 meter breaststroke final. The open finals, of course, kicking off tonight at 8 p.m. Kayla Smith is off pretty quick already. Madison Thompson in lane one from Pelican Waters, trains with Aussie veteran Tessa Wallace, been around on the Australian Dolphins team for a, a few years now. Tessa will be featuring late, later on tonight. So it'll be nice to see. She's obviously got it out nice and fast. But we're back here in the middle with Michaela Smith. Really controlling these first 100. Liesl Jones holds the Australian record at 2.25.4. From 2006, I believe. From the Commonwealth Games in Melbourne. Still with Michaela Smith with one lap to go. 152-20, her 150 split. Michaela's starting to pick up her stroke right now. Really trying to dig deep in this last 25 metres. Very skillful swimmers, especially 200 breaststroke. Have to be so efficient. Great swim by Michaela. Down at the touch, Michaela Smith, 232.53. Very solid swim. Congratulations to all of our athletes in the women's 19 to 20 200 meter breaststroke final. Still some great races still to come, Klimi. Of course, our next age group 200 meter breaststroke final. The women's 50 meter freestyle got some great age group swimmers in that one. Yep. Great depth of talent. And we're all gearing up to, uh, to the open final starting at 8.30, so it should be a, 
8 p.m. 8 p.m. Sorry. 8 p.m. And uh, yeah, we've got the uh, the Campbell Showdown. Or will someone up upset them tonight? Oh. Interesting to see. The men's 200 freestyle with Kyle Chalmers. He just uh, cruised for about 150 metres. Yeah, what was that? I and saw that. Just, just, in, <laughs> just in fourth gear. Wouldn't that be nice if you had the ability to do that? <laughs> just working on some different pacing. Women's 200 breaststroke also coming up later on in the, in the open division. And an upset already in the women's 200 meter backstroke. Kaylee McEwen was DQ'd this morning. So unfortunately, we won't see Kaylee. Up next, though, the women's 17 to 18 200 meter breaststroke final. Stick around. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the medal ceremony for the men's 400 metre individual medley for the 18 and 19s. The presenter of the medals is Lee Nugent, Swimming Australia State Technical Director, WA and South Australia. In third place, and the winner of the bronze medal in a time of 4.34.18, representing Reavers Work is Joshua Wilkie. In second place, and the winner of the silver medal in a time of 4.33.89, representing Knox Pimble, Thomas Peregrina. In first place, Australian champion and winner of the gold medal in a time of 4.27.53, representing MLC Aquatic, Ryland Bryan. Congratulations, swimmers, and thank you to our presenter, Lee Nugent. Big thanks to our spectators already tonight. Remember, the louder you cheer, the faster these swimmers swim, all right? Because they can hear you in the water. So the louder you cheer and get behind our swimmers, the faster they go for you. Don't forget, if you are watching from home on the stream, you can get tickets to come along and see all the action live, swimming.org.au. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome to the pool deck the athletes in the women's 17 to 18 200 metre breaststroke final. In lane one, representing St Hilda's WA, Anna Monaghan. In lane two, representing Kinross Wallaroy, Emily Nobbs. In lane three, representing Acacia Bayside, Popping Marnie. In lane four, representing Bond Queensland, Sarah Beale. In lane five, representing Acacia Bayside, Madeline Snell. In lane six, representing Arena, Lauren Gastevic. In lane seven, representing Southport Olympic, Chelsea Hodges. 
And in lane eight, representing Guildford and Kalamunda, Jade Mann. These are the athletes in the women's 17 to 18, 200 meter breaststroke final. In the water now, the women's 17 to 18, 200 meter breaststroke final. All about getting into a nice rhythm quickly. Obviously, you don't want to chop your stroke too much in a 200 meter breaststroke. It will make that second 100 hurt a lot. Sarah Beal going out pretty quick. Chelsea Hodges at the turn, 33.66 from Southport. Liesl Jones still holds that Australian record, as you we were just saying before, from 2006. 220.54. She had an amazing skill to keep that good rhythm and an amazing length. I don't think she ever shortened up and occasionally in the 100 when she tried to overrate it, but in the 200, she was the master technician. She had a saying for her 200 metre breaststroke and it used to go through her head as she was swimming and she said she used to say to herself this is my office i know what to do this is my office i know what to do this is my office i know what to do and that sort of got her in like a nice momentum for her to be able to keep that length in a 200 meter breaststroke yeah, right. and if you think about it it makes I, sense i used to butterfly i used to think push pull push pull <laughs> not, not as not as uh <laughs> hey i still yeah. like it <laughs> Sarah Beale looking strong. The third 50 swimming away from the girls. At the turn, Sarah Beale, 151.42. Possibly looking at about a 231. Thereabouts. The World, World Uni Games qualifier is 228.12. Trying to hang on to that stroke now. Very great race for a second. At the wall, 231.97. Sarah Beale of Bond. Emily Nobbs there in at second, 234.46. And Chelsea Hodge from Southport, Ladies and gentlemen, this is the medal ceremony for the women's 19 to 20, 200 metre breaststroke. The presenter of the medals is Greg Tao, swimming Australia Paralympic mentor coach. In third place, and the winner of the bronze medal in a time of 235.73, representing Pelican Waters, Madison Thompson. In second place and the winner of the silver medal in a time of 234.03, representing Newmarket Races, Sophia Chihidi. In first place, Australian champion and winner of the gold medal in a time of 232.53, representing Nutter Wadding, Michaela Smith.
congratulations, swimmers, and thank you to our presenter, Greg Tao. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome to the pool deck the athletes in the women's 50 metre freestyle for the 1920s. In lane one, representing Carlisle, Sarah Kemp. In lane two, representing Perth City, Anna Cooper. In lane three, representing Brisbane Grammar, Georgia Wells. In lane four, representing Abbotsley, Alicia Walker. In lane five, representing Brisbane Grammar, Gemma Cooney. In lane six, representing Ravenswood, Claire Robertson. In lane seven, representing Kinross Woolleroy, Josie Gilham. And in lane eight, representing Pelican Waters, Madison Thompson. These are the athletes in the women 19 to 20, 50 metre freestyle. <laughs> Quick start for the girls in this 50 metre freestyle. It's all about the start, that first 15, 15 to 20 metres and just trying to hold on to the wall. Minimal breathing. Maximum one to two breaths. Or none. Blanking it across the field. It's going to be Gemma Cooney, 26-3-2 from Brisbane Grammar. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the medal ceremony for the women's 17 to 18, 200 metre breaststroke. The presenter of the medals is Greg Tao, Swimming Australia Paralympic mentor coach. In third place, and the winner of the bronze medal in a time of 235.32, representing Southport Olympic, Chelsea Hodges. In second place, and the winner of the silver medal in a time of 2.34.46, representing Kinross Wallaroy, Emily Nobbs. In
in first place, Australian champion and winner of the gold medal in a time of 2.31.97, representing Bond, Queensland, Sarah Beale. Congratulations, swimmers, and thank you to our presenter, Greg Tao. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome to the pool deck the athletes in the women's 17 to 18 50 metre freestyle final. In lane one, representing UWA West Coast, Jemima Horwood. In lane two, representing Knox Pimble, Claudia Neal. In lane three, representing Knox Pimble, Aloise Riley. In lane four, representing St. Peter's Weston, Meg Harris. In lane five, representing Ginandira, Abby Webb. In lane six, representing Abbotsley, Becca St. Vincent. In lane seven, representing Kawana Waters, Michaela Popham. And in lane eight, representing UWA West Coast, Cara Broadbridge. These are the athletes in the women's 50 metre, 17 to 18 freestyle final. Meg Harris to be hard to beat in this one. Qualified very well in 25-23. Moving very smoothly, just took her first breath. 15 metres to go, she's moving away, took a second breath now. At the touch, it's going to be Meg Harris, 25-09 of St. Peter's Weston. Congratulations to all our swimmers in the women's 17 to 18 50 metre freestyle final. Get behind your favourite swimmers by tweeting messages of support or sharing your Instagram pictures using hashtag CrownTheChamps. We'll put the best photos and tweets up on the big screen throughout the day.
Ladies and gentlemen, this is the medal ceremony for the women's 19 to 20 50 metre freestyle. The presenter of the medals is Greg Tao, Swimming Australia Paralympic mentor coach. In third place, and the winner of the bronze medal in a time of 26.43, representing Brisbane Grammar, Georgia Wells. In second place, and the winner of the silver medal in a time of 26.33, representing Abbotsley, Alicia Walker. In first place, Australian champion and winner of the gold medal in a time of 26.32, representing Brisbane grammar, Gemma Cooney. Congratulations, swimmers, and thank you to our presenter, Greg Tao. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome the athletes in the men's 200 metre freestyle multi-class final. In lane one, representing Uni of Queensland, Bailey Stewart. In lane two, representing Tuggeranong Vikings, Joshua Alford. In lane three, representing TSS Aquatics, Daniel Fox. In lane four, representing Kiwana Waters, Liam Schulter. In lane five, representing Uni of Queensland, Jack Island. In lane six, representing Auburn, Ricky Better. In lane seven, representing SLC Aquadot, Mitchell Kilduff. In lane eight, representing Valley Aquatic, Darcy Gilson. These are the athletes in the men's 200 metre freestyle multi-class final.
off and underway. This men's 200 metre freestyle multi-class final. This is going to be an awesome race, Clinique. Yeah, great field in this 200 freestyle. Got some familiar faces. Joshua Alford has been on the team a few times before. Liam Schuttler, also successful at this meet already. They're all the same class, S14. So this will make for a great race, essentially, whoever wins. Absolutely. This will be a very good... Uh, it makes it very easy for us to call us. We don't have to, there isn't a point system that goes along with this. So 1,000 thousand points is the world record in this classification of S14. If the boys break it, it's anything above 1,000 points. Liam Schulter from Kiwana Waters out in front, nearly by a body length, in fact, a body length. Looking very smooth. He paced that second 50 very well, swam away from the field. Now maintaining the lead, if not gaining even more. At the turn 125.71. They're not going to catch him. Great Swimming swim. A sensational race. The, the World Para Championships held later this year. He'll be on the team. Wow. Let's just get some clarification. But that point score, 1,024. That is a world record. <laughs> the first one here at the pool at this competition. Wow. Ladies and gentlemen, put your hands together. Liam Schultz of Kiwana Waters, 154.79. Total point score, 1,024. It's official now, ladies and gentlemen, that's a new world record. What a sensational swim. We've got goosebumps, Klimi. How good is this? Oh, it's a world record. How can you not? What a great swim by Liam. He controlled it. He dominated. Congratulations, Liam and all the athletes in the men's 200 meter freestyle multi-class. is number one in the most important resource of all, our people. Live now to Mark Mooney. Jane, it is the jewel. First two breaking news, Andrea Nicholas. First on the scene. Award-winning reporters, decades of experience, respected, credible. Striving every night to deliver Adelaide's most trusted, reliable news service. Adelaide Sport. And Adelaide's live weather reports. It's everything to us. Seven News is Adelaide's news. Ah, winter. It's the perfect excuse to sit around. Have that second glass of wine. And let someone else do the cooking. 
Ladies and gentlemen, this is the medal ceremony for the women's 17 to 18, 50 metre freestyle. The presenter of the medals is Glenn Berrington, swimming Australia national youth coach. In third place and joint winners of the bronze medal in an equal time of 26-24, representing Kiwana Waters, Michaela Popham. And representing Abbotsley, Becca St. Vincent. In second place and the winner of the silver medal in a time of 25.65, representing Jinandira, Abby Webb. In first place, Australian champion and winner of the gold medal in a time of 25.09, representing St. Peter's Weston, Meg Harris. Congratulations, swimmers, and thank you to our presenter, Glenn Berrington. All right, don't go anywhere. The women's 200 meter freestyle multi-class final on its way very soon. Lakeisha Patterson, Brooke King, Jade Lucy, just to name a few. Of course, our open finals kicking off tonight from eight. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome to the pool deck the athletes in the women's 200 meter freestyle multi-class final. In lane one, representing Uni of Queensland, Nicole Fielden. In lane two, representing Launton, Lakeisha Patterson. In lane three, representing SLC Aquadot, Amy Cook. In lane four, representing Albury, Brooke King. In lane five, representing SLC Aquadot, Jade Lucy. In lane six, representing St. Hilda's Queensland, Madeline McTiernan. In lane seven, representing Trailgan, Ruby Storm. In lane eight, representing Brisbane Jets, Lily Barrows.
I'm still pumped after that world, world record in the previous event. Can the girls match it? We'll yeah. soon find out. Absolutely. Lakeisha Patterson swimming there in lane number two. You might remember her from the 2016 Paralympics over in Rio. She was the first Olympic gold medal and a world record for us. Okay. So there is a chance she's a world record holder. Remember, it's the highest amount of points on the screen at the completion of the race. Person with the highest amount of points. Ruby Storm swimming really well, lane seven. Cross on the lane rope, looking across at the field. Spots on the 2019 World Para Swimming Championships up for selection at these championships. And the team will be selected and announced on the final night of these championships. So we, we have a couple of different classifications in this event, so we will have to go to the point score at the end. 139.92, Brooke King at the turn. Just fading a little bit. Lakeisha Patterson really making a move there in lane two. It's going to be very tight to the wall. All right, looks like Lakeisha Patterson taking out the win there. Total point score 7.54 and a time of 2.15.54. Congratulations, all the athletes in the women's 200 metre freestyle multi-class final. Class. The presenter of the medals is Glenn Berrington, swimming Australia national youth coach. In third place, and the winner of the bronze medal representing Uni of Queensland, Jack Island.
in second place and the winner of the silver medal representing Auburn, Ricky Better. In first place, Australian champion and winner of the gold medal representing Kawan Waters and our brand new world record holder, Liam Schulter. Congratulations, swimmers, and thank you to our presenter, Glenn Barrington. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the medal ceremony for the women's 200 metre freestyle multi-class. The presenter of the medals is Glenn Berrington, Swimming Australia National Youth Coach. In third place and the winner of the bronze medal representing St Hilda's Queensland, Madeline McTiernan. Congratulations, Freddie! In second place, and the winner of the silver medal representing SLC Aquadot, Jade Lucy. Congratulations, Jade. In first place, Australian champion and winner of the gold medal representing Launton, Lakeisha Patterson. Congratulations, swimmers, and thank you to our presenter. Thank you, technical officials. You may now leave the pool deck. That concludes racing for this age final session at the 2019 Hancock Prospecting Australian Swimming Championships. An awesome fourth night already in the water with a new world record, Liam Schulter in the men's 200 metre multi-class.
the freestyle. Oh my God, Flimmy, that was sensational. Yeah, it's always great to see the WR on the on the scoreboard. It was a great swim. He, um, obviously the fastest ever in the world, but uh, no, he did it perfectly, well paced, and um, and a great interview too. Some promising young, ta uh, talented athletes here at the age finals. But up next, it is the Open Finals kicking off from 8 p.m. Make sure you stick around for tonight's Open Finals. Regular or chicken salt? Both. Winter. It's the perfect excuse to sit around. Have that second glass of wine. And let someone else do the cooking. Do something different. Book your South Australian trip today. South Australia. Rewards wonder. Seven News is number one in the most important resource of all, our people. Live now to Mark Mooney. Jane, it is the jewel. First to breaking news, Andrea Nicholas. First on the scene. Award-winning reporters, decades of experience, respected, Incredible. Striving every night to deliver Adelaide's most trusted, reliable news service. Adelaide Sport. And Adelaide's live weather reports. It's everything to us. Seven News is 